Well, hello and welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, little question for you today. Uh, what would you choose? Would you choose razor blades or band-aids? Razor blades or band-aids? You say, well, what are you talking about? Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 12. I'll read verse 18 and then we'll jump to chapter 13, verse 3. They have the same kind of theme. And then I'll come back to that question, what would you choose, razors or band-aids? Here's the passages. The words of the reckless pierce or cut like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Chapter 13, verse 3 says this, Those who guard their lips preserve their lives, but those who speak rashly will come to ruin. These passages are really asking the question, what are your words? Are they razor blades that cut people? Or are they band-aids, a source of healing? Because our words have the power to do both of those things. And we get to choose not only every day, but every moment that we open our mouths. Am I gonna be bringing the cuts of a razor or the healing that God wants to bring through my words? What do my words do? And so I, I, I learned this lesson at a young age. In third grade, I had a teacher, Mrs. Sauer, and Mrs. Sauer, I've always said she was the sweetest teacher I ever had. Mrs. Sauer, her words were like band-aids to my soul. Her, her words were healing. She was kind. She was encouraging, the way a third grade teacher ought to be. Fourth grade, my teacher is the name that shall not be mentioned. I'm not going to mention her name because she was just mean and harsh and unkind to me specifically, and I probably deserved it. I was a pretty rough kid growing up. If, if they had invented ADDHD, I would have been ADDHDHD. I was a, a pretty wild kid. So I understand I was rough, but, but her words were so damaging, so harsh. I could tell you stories, but I won't right now. But this passage really asked the question, what kind of words are you gonna speak? And so just a couple of thoughts from this passage. First is this, our reckless words can cut like a razor and they can hurt people more than we realize. We have to pause and recognize. If we say to ourselves, well, it's the truth what I'm saying, it may be the truth, but we can say the truth in a cutting way. If we say, well, they need to hear this, they might need to hear it, but they need to hear it with the edge, with the sharp edges that we bring. We've got to recognize the power of our words to hurt others. And then, our words have potential for amazing healing. For, for bringing life and hope and encouragement. When you speak, are you recognizing that? Are you realizing that? Are you being intentional that your words would not only not be like razor blades, but that your words would be like band-aids? Do you look and say, can I speak into this situation and bring hope and healing and encouragement? That's up to you, that's up to me, every moment of every day. And so here's the encouragement. Guard your lips, guard what you say. Each and every day when you open your mouth, ask yourself, here's some questions you can ask. Could I say this in a kinder way? Before you speak, afterwards if you, if you evaluate and you didn't do very good, then learn for next time. But before you speak, what's the kindest way I can say what I need to say? And lean into that. Second question, should I have said less or should I say less? The answer is almost always yes. The, wis the wisdom of Proverbs often encourages fewer words. So can I say less? When I've said what I need to say, can I stop? And then also, can I encourage more? Can I look at this person and say, what would bring encouragement to, to my son or to my daughter, to my wife or to my husband, to my friend, to my colleague at work, to somebody where I go to school? Can I bring words that bring life and blessing and encouragement? And so, <clears throat> here's my encouragement to you today. Slow down, ask good questions of yourself, and no one's gonna feel hurt if you slow down and think through your words more effectively and you bring more kindness. But if we are rash and unthoughtful and just blurt out whatever comes to our mind or don't think through the implications, we will often hurt people. And sometimes they'll tell us, sometimes we'll see it on their face, sometimes we won't even notice and they won't say a word. But today, here's the wisdom of Proverbs. Let your words be like band-aids, a source of healing, and not like razor blades, a source of pain. Let's pray together. God, our prayer is that you would help us to speak fewer words and better words, that you would help us to become people who bring life and hope and healing through everything we say and not cuts and piercing and sorrow and hurt. Lord, we pray that you will teach us to use our words in a way that honors you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.
If you're part of Shoreline Church in Monterey or online, we'll see you Sunday at 9 and 11 for worship. If you're part of another church, stay engaged in the body of Christ. Your church needs you. Be part of the family. God bless you. Have a great day.